And then what we're doing, because we've got us packer down, yeah? Yeah, man. It can't go down any further than what we're pushing it. So we know all that is full. So once that gear goes off, maybe two hours, be able to walk on that, be able to do whatever you want. Now, most important thing is to fill the sides in with uh, good quality silicone. That is a must. Flatten it off. Beast blast, boss job done. Make sure it's bang on every direction. And you can't go wrong. Bang on. I just love it. Oh, what? I just love it. You know what I mean, Chase? I just love it. I just love it. Right, that'll do. Don't forget to like, share, and follow. You can watch all this on my YouTube channel for video. There we go. So, this is most important. Don't get a cheap silicone to seal. Uh, now we've sealed this to the walls and when we tile it, it's going to be perfect. Use a, a good quality silicone, otherwise it's going to be no good. Here what I've done is, um, as you see now I've bedded this shower tray down, but in this little void here there's always a void. And what I do is, I've just put a Squared my foam underneath there so my foam will expand into this part here. That's already gone off because this isn't foam, this is PU adhesive, it's completely different. It's made for sticking wet boards on it. The shower tray, solid, absolutely solid. There's enough gear underneath it, it's packed out, it's beautiful, just needs to dry properly now. And that's it! Don't forget to like, share, and follow. Watch the full video. On my YouTube channel, Beast Blast Boss. Getting ready to tile for this, so what I'm doing is I'm just using my laser level. This is a pain, this because see this, we were sitting this shower out, we'd never ever have that little piece at the bottom. So we're gonna have to cut a little piece in all the way around the bottom um, and then start on top of it. And that is not ideal, especially with this wall where we're going to have to pack it off. It's not good. It's not good at all. But, to get to that level, because if we do it, it's not going to match up here. You can't put a piece in here, it's going to look bad, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So, what we're going to do is, that's on top of the tile. So all we have to do now is put a tape measure to the floor, and you will see that mark all the way around. Cut some slivers, bang them on. Should have done that yesterday, really, so they could have dried today. Schoolboy era, because it would have been a lot easier to tile it like that. And then this part here, what we're going to use is the 20 mil notch trail, because this needs packing off, because it's all over that wall. And that is tight. So if you get a tile there, they've tiled it tightly straight onto this brick and uh, um, mortar. So they've tiled it very tight, so we're going to use a 20mm notch trail at the bottom because it pulled the tray off. And then we're going to slant it back in and we're going to taper it, boom, straight onto the bottom of it. And then once we grind it all in, it'll look beautiful. So what we have to do is we follow the lines. Just get his laser on there. His laser straight on line, boom, straight down. This bottom one, I'm not going to mess about with this bottom line. We're going to have full cuts all the way around. There need to be full cuts because we don't want to be messing about with little cuts at the bottom of the tray. It's not good for the tray and it's not good for Mickey, you know what I mean? So, let's crack on and get it done. It's looking good, so it's looking like it's uh, always been a shower. This part here, though, we're struggling to get this trim, so we need to uh, cobble some up to be similar. I've sent two different trims in the buff wrong. 
So we're going to go get a trim, but it's patching up very well. Once it's grouted, you're never going to know what we've done. You know what I mean? Bish bash bosh. Don't forget to like, share and follow. MJC Kitchens and Bathrooms on my YouTube channel. So for this measurement here, what I've got to do is all I do is hold it up there, centre, yeah? And then hold that onto that. Hold that onto that. Centre line. Remember, we need to go up there, so you need to raise this up. So, So we don't want to be sitting in there. Just measure that. Twenty mil. Move that data down twenty mil. We know we're on target. Beautiful, beautiful, exact centre of my pad. Now we've got that one in, we're going to leave that on there and then we're just going to measure from that one, do the exact same. That's going to go up to there, boom. We're leaving a four mil gap. Where's my pencil gone? Four mil gap. Centre line again, and we're going to do the exact same, and that will go straight over there. Then what we'll do is we'll mix some jollop up, we'll put this line in, and it'll be perfect. Don't forget to like, share, and follow MJC Kitchens and Bathrooms. You brought your shower pipes out at 150 centres, and I'm going to go through it step by step how we fit one of these bar showers with the overhead that camera. It is going to be beautiful. Don't forget to like, share and follow. First step is, is pipe work we're going to clean. Now if your pipe work is fixed in the wall, what you have to do is you measure your distance and you cut your pipe work. But because these aren't fixed in the wall, I put these in, there's enough pipe on them just to push them back like that. And we're going to leave them long because in the future, if you ever need to change this, you can just pull it out, cut it off and put your new pipe on. 